Hey, this is Mark from Mobile Diesel. This is going to be uh, footage three of eight of the Detroit Diesel in-frame rebuild. If you'll notice here, I've got a pretty rusted motor from all the rain water falling in. We've talked plenty about that. Um, but the thing that's not really talked about in the raw footage is it actually took all day to figure out uh, a way of yanking those rusted seized sleeves out of the motor. I attempted a few times to pull the sleeves out first with regular sleeve puller it didn't work and then an air hammer from down below once I had removed the oil pan and I took a air hammer and a half inch air supply so it was a pretty powerful air hammer and the sleeves wouldn't pull and then I ended up welding a uh, metal brace that was threaded across the sleeve uh, it broke it broke it was so stubborn and then I finally took a 20 ton puller and a really thick piece of metal and uh, I doubled up on the uh, nuts that went onto the puller so it had an inch of thread and finally I was able to yank those sleeves out but it did take all day um, you're not seeing all that in this raw footage but uh, yeah it was quite the interesting task all right I uh, hope you enjoy all this and uh, thank you much take care hey this is Mark uh, I thought I'd make another quick video I am uh, redoing rebuilding this uh, Detroit diesel uh, 6v92 um, sucked up a bunch of water I showed in the other video through the exhaust pipe right there it uh, bent a rod uh, where is it this one here I had to actually weld a bracket to the sleeve to pull it out because there's so much damage the regular way you remove a piston wasn't even possible anyway there's the bet piston rod and the broken sleeve right there so yeah uh, we're pulling out the liners now I'm about to run an inspection on the uh, crankshaft bearings and the piston rod bearings see make sure the gaps are all good and I will start with the reassembly um, all right that is it for now.